Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We are Random Encounter Productions. I'm Cody Stone, and with me tonight, we have... Uh, Matthew, playing Clever Stitch, the Tabaxi Arcane Archer. Andrew, playing Grizz, the Dwarven Beastmaster Ranger. Speak to the gods, honey. I'm Meg, and I'm playing Sarai Landir, the... Oh, God. Eldrin Knowledge Clerk. Aha! And I am Tom, and I am playing Navi, the half elf rune knight. <laughs> also, chat, Question can y'all hear me now? Because apparently I was muted. I don't know how. Oh. Y'all could hear uh, me. On right OBS, yeah. do, does the mic on I OBS where you. it says mic? I know, I just, uh, I just unmuted that. You just we did? Can okay. hear you now. Yeah. We can hear you. We could hear you before. No, but I know I you could, so too. I was confused that they couldn't because desktop audio right. was going, so like I didn't know why they couldn't hear me. Right. It's yeah, o OBS filters out your your voice on the That's desktop dumb, audio. That's dumb, OBS. It, it's actually really useful. But... That's helpful, OBS. <laughs> but it means I so cannot we're... just push to talk <clears throat> mute now that I'm in charge of this shit. I have to either be real quiet or manually mute my Yeti every time I want to be a disaster. Uh, I don't know. Push to talk. Try try muting your cell phone, push to talk, and giving a shot. But if my mic is still on OBS, it won't matter. Okay. My point. Well, I guess you could like click right on the OBS little mic on and off. I, but again... It, how are we doing? Hey, <laughs> d, &D. Well, well, clearly we're trying new uh -oh. things today. Welcome. Everyone, uh, August 23rd, 2021, New Things Monday. Uh, somebody got a fun streaming uh, toy uh, uh, for, for their birthday this past week. Oh, that's so, right. Yes. So we, we are, so Pixie's in control. So for once, it's not my fault if we don't uh, start the show right. <laughs> Um, happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. I don't actually know the rest of it. That's all you get. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Um, this is the worst Chili's experience ever. <laughs> How do you get kicked out of a Chili's? How do you get kicked out of an Applebee's? Well, I'll tell you. Chili's? You want the uh, list? I can do that. So, uh, this is Disasters in Danger. It is our D&D &D 5e high fantasy game. We're going to get into the action just as quick as we can because we did have a little bit of a late start. Um, but first, we have a couple of quick announcements. Matthew, talk to us about our wonderful sponsors for Monday night's Norse Foundry. Yes, Norse Foundry. You know them, you love them. They are your supplier of anything and everything D&D &D dice related. Uh, you can't see that, but uh, they make uh, aluminum dice. They make gemstone dice. They make large dice, small dice, dice boxes, dice bags, anything in between anything that you or your dice goblin friends might need for your game of DD, &D, you can get it right there on norse foundry and not only that but we know that you guys like saving money because 2020 was hard honey so is 2021 and it's almost over 2020 but was it's hard, been hard. Honey. <laughs> exactly because it, it rhymed with money um that is and a, so... that's a drag race week challenge yes, if ever i heard one listen but uh we know me. that <laughs> yes uh but we know that you guys like to save money so we worked out a deal with uh norse foundry we cast suggestion and they failed their wisdom save so they gave us a code rep rpg that will save you 20 percent off of your entire no 15 percent matthew's a liar and an idiot 15 percent off of your entire order uh, whenever you buy anything for you and your entire D and D party to make them love you, because you're not a disaster player, you gave them gifts. Um, like I said, eat your heart so, out, Sam Regal. Come on. So save yourself fifteen percent on your entire order by using the code Rep RPG at checkout whenever you buy things from Norse Foundry. Awesome. Thank you, um, Matthew. Um, so guys, we are working on, this is our sort of interim schedule. We're working on bringing you some new shows and some new information about things. So keep your eyes peeled on the socials for those things. Rep RPG, uh, pretty much everywhere. Um, also want to give the opportunity to our friends over at, uh, which one of you is first? Easy to spell. Uh, easy, to spell? easy to spell. Yeah. Tell us about easy to spell. Oh. 
yeah, easy to spell, spelt wrong. It's easy to spell, but we did it wrong anyway. There's two L's in ours. Um, we have our own YouTube channel uh, currently that we have a campaign that's ongoing. We are resuming like playing live on Twitch uh, here in two weeks on the 5th. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be releasing a, a recap episode on YouTube in about a week, uh, just getting people caught up. We don't expect you to watch 17 backlogged episodes of our nonsense. Um, but yeah, that's come hang out. It's going to be a lot of fun diving right back into it. That's uh, We chose a good moment where we're right in the thick of like a big siege. It's going to be great. Do love me a siege. Yeah. Uh, also, I want to say hello and thank you, and go check them out uh, for our friends over at Wiki Game RPG. Tell us about that, Tom. It's me. Hi. Um, yeah, um, I usually stream over on Wiki Game uh, RPG on Twitch uh, and all of the social medias. Uh, we are currently in a campaign called the lighthouse of isodos uh where we are um trying to figure out all the mysteries of this uh mystical island in the middle of nowhere um it's kind of like cabin fever goes wild and it's fun because we've got a, a ranger a, an elf ranger with a crab a giant crab uh familiar who is incredible uh we have um the most gorgeous debutante uh, uh half elf uh, who's just out here to to get a holiday and we have myself uh mav the the tiefling uh, erotica um author uh, who is uh, quite honestly here to get away from from certain things that you don't know yet. We stream uh, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Also, uh, that's BST, not uh, PST. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, we also uh, run uh, or stream uh, Dragon Age content on it's delightful. a delightful. Which is great uh, with with Lydia and Michelle, two of our uh, two of our members. Um, we have uh, been on a slight hiatus this past week. We may be on a hiatus next week as well. But if you would like to catch up on anything that we've done so far, we are also on YouTube. Um, and please spam Wiki Game RPG uh, because. Lord knows we're really really working against the song Wiki Game. Um, I I used to love the song less so now. So slap on slap on in on uh, on youtube and uh, start searching for us specifically okay <laughs> thank you, know, you i have a funny story about wicked game a song real quick um yeah. it's the to date the first and only song i've ever masturbated on a beach to okay so wicked game rpg come yeah. on <laughs> <laughs> not, not that the one. more you know. I, I feel like we need to put some perspective on this it, it the the uh, limiting factor there is the song Right, uh, <laughs> Megan's adventures, yeah. personal adventures on beaches are are varied and yeah. and plentiful. Hey, mom. So, yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, she did say she did specify the only song that right. she's done that to. Right. So Cody yeah, that's is correct. Right. That's right. <laughs> the timing of all of that was pure comedic gold. So good. Not, not so gonna good. lie. Yes, fan. I'm curious if Betty is actually it's just right. Start Please just start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. Um, is at this point I'm going to have to explain to her what that is. <laughs> the beach. Uh, she's lived in Florida for a very long time, Megan. I think she knows about the beach. We yeah. can game the song. <laughs> start the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, our adventure it takes place in the lands of Lictrock. They are lands of myth, of legend, and. More importantly, of late, they are lands of fate and destiny. Lands in which magical artifacts and ancient machinations give rise to opportunities to literally write one's destiny. Sometimes in blood, sometimes in great deeds. Now, our heroes are the archivists. They have come to the city of Cairdian in the hopes of finding some form of draconic defense or information that may assist them in protecting their newfound ally, the uh, recently reawoken dwarven lord known as the Black King. To this end, they have um, stumbled into a, uh, a heist 
of sorts as a local uh what is he sort of criminal uh mastermind let's go with criminal entity has uh been putting together a heist of an establishment known as the library what he is stealing and why to what ends these are things they don't exactly know but they suspect that in that library there is information that may provide the answers that they require um last week you guys met with uh the owner of the underground bar and she uh took you on as, uh, as to sort of serve as your as your broker. She seems to have some business uh, with um, Redovan uh, to to settle of her own accord. And you guys have agreed. So in order to get in good with Redovan, you have, I believe, three of his heisting crew members that you need to... Um, quietly or uh, accidentally remove from the equation uh, without arising too much suspicion. Redovan is easily spooked and his closest contact, Emery, the drow elf that is seemingly his eyes and ears um, in the, definitely in the bar, but but kind of throughout the city, uh, you suspect, are, are both a bit skittish. So you need to make friends with Emery. You need to ingratiate yourself to him and Radovan while removing uh, the other three members. You'll have to remind me of all of their names. I believe we have a Gog. Obs. Obs. What's that one? <clears throat> There's Obs. My apologies. I have, Obs is the muscle. I have Delude. That's not right, but that's how I spelt it. Is it Delude? Delude? Like, like delusional? Yeah, Delude. Yeah, sure. Delude Sandstorm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Uh, the, no, it's Delude. <laughs> that one was the face. That's just on Deludo. Is it? Is it actually? Well, now oh, it my... has to be. Yeah. Oh God. No backtracking from that. Am yeah. I? Am I taking out Jason Deludo? Yeah. Just on Deludo. Because yeah. you know how you do that. Just on Deludo. Is the cat it's version? And... It's back. No, all you gotta do is just walk up with a fucking trumpet and go to town. So, yeah, he's got the. Okay. He's got I'm the, posting that in the chat. Y'all need to watch that stupid. Jellical no, shoulders. Put that yeah. away. I'm not playing. <laughs> Rompsalar? Rompsalar. Bless you. Don't say that. Like I spelled it phonetically. That, that's what that, that says. I've yeah. been trying to read my own notes. <laughs> that's why I typed them. No, that tracks. So, so. <laughs> I can only apologize. I'm nodding along like I know it. All of my notes are upstairs and it's too oh, late no. to go and get them. So you're good. Oh, no. You're good. Same. The, those are the only notes that I have. Names and like six words about them. I, for some reason, <laughs> insist on writing my own notes and I have illegible handwriting. Yes. It's like a child's handwriting. We love to see it. The dedication. Yeah. Um, so if I am not mistaken, to de, um, delude is the mouthpiece yes right and uh ramsalar Karamsalar, something like that Bless you. uh he's the wizard is the arcanist the wizard and he has a bit of a gambling problem he does we were told yep. he does yes uh so we we're gonna we're gonna muddle our way through this one um you guys where would you like to okay. begin you know you have about five, six days. Uh, you do have most of this evening to work out as well. Um, it's been told to you that creating some form uh, of scenario in which you save Emery um, or help him in some way is a good way to get your you into his good graces. But you guys had put that one towards the back burner. You don't want to do that right out the gate, right? Uh, last week you had been talking about... Uh, finishing off uh, OBS first, removing the muscle from the equation. Um, so, is that where we would like to begin this evening? Yeah. I think so. I think immediately after um, the, uh, the, the the meeting, when we sort of leave, I kind of 
uh, Navi with furrowed brow sort of um, looks at the others and kind of goes, I, I can't really do um, magic. Uh, I don't know. They were looking for <clears throat> magic, right? I, I mean, um, one of them does magic. I sort of look between all of you and sort of say, um, do you do magic? Fable, who's been deep in, like, lessons for a while Ooh. in many things and hasn't met these weirdos or, like, has briefly seen them at camp but has been, like, busy... She raises her hand with fire on and she, oh, um, get that, learning how to, new things happening. Uh, that's me, um, almost exclusively actually. She holds her staff like, I've tried to get this upgraded to something that stabs. The one time I stabbed, I did it really well, but um, I'm pretty sure that was a fluke, so I'm not gonna try it again. Uh, so usually I just, fire hands. I am. Fable, by the way. Uh, and sort of the fish hand comes out and kind of goes uh, goes up, up to you and he, uh, he says, um, I, I'm Navi. Yeah. Mm. Pleasure to officially meet you. I've seen around, but I haven't actually... I wouldn't touch his hand. I, I, oh, but wait, go is it going to hurt? I just, it, you're, you're really just better off not touching the hand. Grizz, by the way, go. pleasure to meet you. This is... Is Benedict back here? <gasps> um, oh, he has a name. I was worried it was a dead letter. Can I, can I touch him? She just 100% yeah, yeah, is that. Could, can I yeah. pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? We weren't you're introduced, so it was rude to ask, yeah. but like now I'm here and can I pet your dog? Yeah, yeah that, that's, you're more than welcome to this. Uh, he's friendly. He doesn't bite much unless, yeah, well, go for it. Here, yeah. Honestly, I'm friendly. I don't bite much unless I have to. Can, I'd like to feed him something. She would like to offer like beef jerky or something like <laughs> okay yeah you you dig into uh whatever bit of rations you you have remaining and um you know offer it up to the to the medium sized uh black bear sized badger God? who sort of why is he so big <laughs> I, as far as I know, most badgers are this big. That's, aren't you, bud? Ah. Oh, no, I love him. <laughs> it's a pleasure to officially meet you. Um, like I said, my name's Fable. I've been, I've been um, studying with the... Um, uh, she waves over to Saride and holds up this loot. I got that those third chord down now. It's not great. Oh, you're doing wonderful. I could hear you through the walls. I'm really proud of you. And she's just like, she's seriously just proud moment in the background. Oh. oh. That's all. Well, I believe that solves uh, your question, Harry, about the, the magics, everything like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it sort of kind of looks over at, uh, uh, sorry, is it Frost? Fable. Fable, Fable. You can call me Fable. Fable. Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, looks over at Fable again and kind of uh, gives a slight kind of like we'll work on that. <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to smile. Uh, <laughs> it kind of looks down and sort of shakes his head and like w carries on walking for a bit. Slightly, slightly kind of. Oh, did, why she'll did I do that? Kind follow of after. <laughs> she'll follow after him. Got a lovely smile, by the way. I wouldn't be nervous about it. Oh. Um, you don't want to just have to smile if you don't want to. I didn't want you thinking that that's... I know there's other ways to seem happy and engaged and... and in, you, you can do whatever you want with your face. That's all right. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it again. I'm sorry. Uh, it's lovely to um, to meet you. Uh, Fable. <laughs> <laughs> so, kind of just walks along kind of dragging feet a little bit and uh, trying to find things to say and and can't quite kind of um new people is 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 
a thing yeah. uh, today. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, because it's the same day, huh? <laughs> so, well, it's, uh, you, you met him last night. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Lots of new people, lots of new people. Kind of like, um, I think probably sort of just like writing in the in the um, in the kind of dusty crevices of his hand, all of the all the names that he's kind of remembered, and the the the, the dust kind of swells and uh, dissipates, and he kind of nods a bit, and uh, yeah. I would die for uh, this fish fingered creep. <laughs> hey, it's what Grizz, Grizz kind of settles up to Sarai, and is like, hey, it's fine, whatever's going on with him, but. When you know your hand feels like a wet fish, you, the, fir he, the first thing he's done with everybody is shaking our heads. I'm pretty sure he's messing with us. I mean, the other option is he could just, you know, full on lick us on the face, I suppose. Like, I mean, by that logic, he might as well just stab it. Like he could just say hello, and but he, he has offered to shake hands with every person he's met. He's messing with us. <laughs> so he knows it's- like touching, Grizz, it's okay. It's Right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fables... Why am I defending this behavior? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's delightful. It's okay. Fable's mm -hmm. gonna kind of like watch him shuffle walk and do his and like hover for a minute, but if it doesn't seem like he's gonna say anything else, she won't push it. She'll just like wait. I think I think it, uh, at like some point sort of during the walk he's you can you can tell that the Navi is kind of like rifling through the file of facts of sort of like um God. the singular the singular kind of um opening light or like the singular icebreaker that he knows and he's already used it the hand um, <laughs> oh and uh, and he kind of like like stops for a second and kind of turns back and sort of says obs He's he's coming here, isn't he? I think so. Yeah, he comes to the uh, to the tavern most nights, right? Would it be worth watching him, just to see what? We could watch him. Um, I think that the lady who Matthew did not write the name down of that stopped the entire bar in its tracks. I think she said not to do much to him tonight, but at least keeping an eye on him is probably not a terrible idea. I know that she had also said, and these are later plans probably, that we could try and get Delude in trouble with the law, probably, and then get Rompsala in trouble with whoever's probably funding his gambling addiction, which are obviously later as plans, but... As far as our individual school sets go, though, um, I think I would be pretty well suited to, to trailing, to tailing Obs if we are just wanting to keep an eye on him. And yeah. That's probably... Benedict is not too great at the stealth bit, so I might leave him with you all. <gasps> Um, yeah, Fable, better watch out for Fable, and that's oh, I'll no. camp out and keep an eye out for her. <laughs> keep just, an eye out for Obs. So she, she'll start telling him stories about there were these creatures back in the circus, they were not quite as fine as you, but they did some really fun things. If you're up for learning something exciting, we could blend right in with the circus track, and that could be a good cover for you. <gasps> oh, if you ever need to go into Sky so She's just talking to Benedict as though Lost he's Fable. going to answer. Oh, lost her. She is 100%. <laughs> she had to stop herself from telling from telling Narvi, you would blend in in the circus because he seems very uncomfortable. But, like, it might happen later because, like, she's wants to... She was worried about him. Nothing says so sideshow know... like this motherfucker right here. Uh, but, the, but the badger... Love, like, <laughs> but I'm Fable Fox. Um, do you want to be my friend? Like, always. I am. Um, I might uh, keep an eye out with you, Grizz, if you don't mind. I can go from the rooftops. I'm not the best at tracking, but I'm pretty good at being quiet. So we can keep a pair of eyes on. I can at least keep a pair of eyes on you, if not on Obs. That would be you're not alone. Good to eat. Appreciate that. That's a the city streets aren't really my strong suit, but uh, yeah. 
I just wouldn't want to get in the way with any sort of, you know, skullduggery or talking to people. But I can, I can track a man. All right. Okay. You guys settle in for, for a little bit, and it's not long before Obz has um, made his way into the establishment. Obz is a hulking man. Uh, he is very much um, y- y- part giant, for sure. Uh, he is he is barrel chested, and um, he's he's got. He, I'm gonna how do I put it? He's that old fashioned Coney Island, fat strong, right? <laughs> so he so Big he. Smith. Yeah, yeah, he is he is in no way um like chiseled or cut or anything like that. Uh but he is uh he's just ugh, right? <laughs> he's bald. Um you can tell he he shaves his head, his uh hair's his hair's been kinda kinda balding. Um but he does have the the mustache into the mutton chops. Um which are just sort of really really bushy and um they're this rusted kind of brown color and um as he eats which he does with with great fervor and intensity uh you 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 start to notice that um right here on his chin is completely bare and it's because he actually spends so much time uh, wiping his mouth like he doesn't shave there he just he just sort of like thumps his face it, and and slaps stuff down it rubbed off because of friction sure yeah <laughs> there you go yeah no. okay no. um so uh, obs is uh he is very big uh he's a large creature for sure kind of ogreish in size um, and he's not dumb in that, like, it, like me, Ubs, you, Ooga Booga, right? Like, not, not quite like that. I but, beg your pardon. <sighs> um, but he, like, he doesn't speak about himself in the third person. But um, he's very. Uh, his focus or care doesn't seem to extend much further beyond uh, his immediate interest. Right. Um, if it if it's not a, and and in this moment, if it's not about him eating or drinking, uh, he kind of just doesn't care, right? Um, and like at, at one point, he gets up to get another drink. He he just walks through people. Um, if people are in the way, he just walks over them. And you you realize that the patrons in this place are used to it uh, enough that like when obs goes walking up to the bar to to get another drink um one of the smaller patrons is uh in between obs and the bar like just because obs that's the closest place for him to get to the bar so he's chosen like just the the closest point and the guy's like obs starts to lean over his shoulder which is easy for obs to do he just sort of you know and the guy's like oh oh okay okay and he and he scrambles out of his seat and out of the way. Not that Obs wanted to sit down. He doesn't have to. He's just leaning over the bar to to be like, uh, uh, gonna refill this one. Yeah, all right. And he just and he he says he's gonna do it, and he does it. Um, reaches over, refills his his um his mug from one of the large uh cask kegs that line the walls and the taps that are there. And when he turns around, he turns around into somebody that had gotten up to go grab a, a pool stick and, and just barrels over him. Yeah. No, nobody in his path uh, registers two ops. And he just moves through people. Um, that's about the, the, the deepest insight you pick up on him. Doesn't seem to be a lot of rhyme and reason to the food that he, he gathers. Uh, and, and picks up. You know that the kitchen uh, here isn't uh, run. You so you guys had because 
Grizz had asked about uh, becoming the chef here. There currently is no chef here. All of this food is really... Um, actually, Grizz, make a wisdom culinary check. Uh, cooking tools, cooking utensils check. Or perception, whichever is higher. Uh, we'll go with perception. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay, great. Um, a lot of this food, while it's not bad or spoiled, it is uh, definitely like the remnants, the pieces, the leftovers of pretty much a, like all the other restaurants in town. So the it's not about quality. It's not about flavor. It's purely about quantity and having enough. And so because OBS has been staying here and comes here pretty much every night, you get the feeling that um, Tumi, uh, I believe that was her name. Uh, Ramtui? Ramtui, yep. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, that she, she sends somebody out to like all the nearby restaurants and is like, whatever's not selling, just buy it. Just what, what, like, what'd you make extra of today? What do you, what, what's your day old bread look like? Right? Like that's essentially <laughs> what he's eating. And he seems very happy about it. This man's good today. <laughs> so you're going to follow him once he leaves then? Yeah, once he leaves, I'll trail him. Um, and just kind of like under the table, Grizz is going to hit him with a hunter's mark. Uh, okay. Yes. Is there any reason he has to... Is there a reason he has to be followed and couldn't just... We can't just give him something slow in the food. Clearly he has no problem with the food. Yeah, um... <clears throat> if we do that, um, Grizz can't know, and uh, he has requested that I not know. I would like to put it... I'll, I'll poison somebody that, else's cooking. That's what I was I saying. Just... Oh, I, I, I yeah. didn't think his... No, I meant if there's a slow act in something... That won't kill him here, so it doesn't look like it was the bar's fault. But like, do we have anything? I don't know nope. if there's a food that we know that might do it, or a combination of foods that Grizz might know of that might do it. If we well, know if like mushroom caps react weirdly with some kind of alcohol in this world, Grizz, I feel like would know that and be yeah, like, can yeah, we banana sprite him. Exactly. Like, what? Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess is there a, a check I can make to? Banana. If somebody, if you eat a banana and then drink Sprite within like an hour, it has the same like chemical reaction as drinking a gallon of milk in your stomach. Yeah. Oh, oh God. that's the yeah. yeah. That, it's something like that. That's that's kind of what I was thinking. Like there are certain weird oh, yeah. reactions that your body freaks potassium. out with. Yeah. Like yes. Can can yeah, I do freak some? Freak Tom out. He is done with <laughs> the day. It looks like that. <laughs> it makes so much sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. My Why are we doing so that as a science experiment in middle school? What the fuck? Because. Like giving children like the it. ability to kill each other like that feels like a horrible plan true <laughs> they're so small a gallon mm -hmm. of milk in your stomach at that age they're so small oh dear so I'm i guess it, but questions. can i make a check to see if yeah if they're aren't you glad i'm yes. back aren't you glad uh, i'm back <laughs> So, um, yeah, make a, we'll do culinary, uh, tools specifically, Co uh, so cooking utensils and let's go with intelligence for this. Okay. Um, unless you're proficient in poisons. I'm not proficient in poisons with intelligence. That is a 18. 18. So yes, there, there are some... There are some food combinations uh, from sort of that you could piece together that could make someone sick. Um, they would probably be sick for about a day. So, in, unless you are attempt, unless you're going to do this much closer to the heist, um, by the time 
But if it they seems rep- like he does this all the time, right? Like, we could get him sick right He before. does this every day. Yeah. He, yeah, he does this every day. So either you're you're going to have to... Um, you're going to have to make him sick repeatedly uh, for him to be out of commission. Um, or it's going to have to be timed... You're essentially giving him, giving him like food poisoning, yeah. right? That's that's kind of, that's basically what we're talking about. And that's maybe eight to twelve hours, right? Yeah. Usually a day, twenty four at most, right? Usually by the end of that, um, people are or, recovering, and he day. may not eat as much. Well, the next. and he's huge, and it he might have he's a higher large. constitution. And yes. also, we needed to get him out of commission early enough mm-hmm. to cause what's his name to, to need him. a replacement. Just making yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely, because we had we had wondered about that too. If we wanted to like get him just a little sick, or if we wanted to get him like on death's door sick with the poison, or if we wanted to like break the man's legs or like right. <laughs> something something more extreme that wasn't quite killing or like what we wanted to do and i know that poisoning specifically had come up i'm, I'm guessing he like walked up to the bar he didn't show up on like a really big horse or something right oh no he walked yeah okay. mm-hmm. he yeah. is the big horse yeah. he is the big horse. cut the brakes on his horse or something <laughs> right. oh, that's um, called hamstringing and that feels unnecessarily cruel to the horse he has not to his take ball. the horse out back there so, is no horse. He's the horse. We hamstring him. Um. Yeah. Well, real quick, run a roll a um. Uh, and just roll intelligence checks, everybody. Looking He's for a fifteen dice or better. Tower. I got. I got for birthday. I got Ooh, two dice towers yay, and also yes. like the prettiest dice I've ever seen in my life. Look, I. They're like metal and and, and like ooh. Oh, those are awesome. Hold on, I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna oh. do it badly. Do the YouTuber thing. I'm yes. not good at it though. That's because That's, your, your camera's camera is haunted. stubborn. But my camera is haunted. Fuck. Those are very cool. I love oh, them. Let's see if they pretty. like me though. Nice. I like it. All right. What are you? It does not. <laughs> yeah, Shake it off. It's okay. Some some real dice tonight okay it's a 16 from grizz nice seven eight eight a seven from fable okay it's a nat 20 so 21. oh shit Ooh, yes it's my a 16. he knows it's okay. a fish based thing That's... so fi- so 15 16. um so you guys do know injury injury is is something that um you could do there are injuries that take sort of long-term medical care, right? Um, it's something that uh, magic is probably not going to just be able to, like, instant fix. Um, the poisoning is, unless you're going to, like, sleep paralysis poison him, so sleeping beauty poison him, and, like, tuck him away somewhere, that's kind of your only poisoning option. The other option you do have is uh is a disease it has to be a unique enough disease that restoration or greater restoration won't immediately fix it um and um it doesn't have to necessarily be deadly for him but just something contagious enough or virulent enough that uh the the party won't want him involved in the heist is is another option Give him, um, give him the Rona. <laughs> Speed away. Uh, and because uh, because you got a a nat twenty, uh, I will go ahead and let you know. Um, you got the n- n- Narvi. Narvi, got it. Narvi, great. Um, I almost called you cat person. Um, there are a couple of interesting sources of potential virus that you could explore. Um, there is in the clerical and druidic, uh, area of the town. They, that's where the medical, like, uh, research is. And this is where, to, to put it, this is where the, uh, 
greater restoration and restoration spells uh, get like updated if you think about them, right? Because as we've established in our world from our previous campaign, they take care of most known things, but the spell has to be adjusted and updated to, to deal with new and, and developing viruses and sicknesses and things like that, okay? Uh, for whatever reason, Narvi, you know that there are potential there. The other thing that you could do, it's a little more dangerous, maybe, although you guys have out-leveled the monsters pretty well, yeah. is that Utyugs that uh, oh, yes. creep through the sewers uh, and have special glands to break down uh, bile and sewage. And, are, and there is a, a sewer rot plague that is highly concentrated in uh, essentially like in the upper portion of their gullet. Um, Seems highly fitting that Navi knows this. Uh, for, I, for, what, for whatever reason, and we don't know what happened in your past life, but, uh, but somehow you know this. See, immediately, immediately I was going, well, Oh, Grizz, where's that squid? Uh, but then uh, he... he <laughs> remembered, uh, <laughs> that wasn't poisonous. Y'all ate it. Y'all liked it. You... <laughs> that, I mean, you you do, you do could go try to find... You know that, at least within a few days of the city, there is a Mind Flayer nest. If you wanted to get a Mind Flayer tadpole and stick it in this no! hulking monster's brain... Yes! No! Uh, yes! <laughs> um, I kind of Do sit it. there for a second and furrow my brow and sort of go, Mind flares. Otyugs. Can't remember the other thing. <laughs> Player X. Uh, Druids. Druids. Those are... Um, very specific. Yes, all right. I uh, I was going through the bag of holding to see if we might have anything in there, and uh, we little uh, gnome fuck that we messed with right when we first met each other um, popped into my head, oh, that's and she'll pull out a bottle of um, it is Otto's. Oh uh, shit! The throat, oh. uh, Otto's po potion of throat shaving. Oh, that freaked Tom out too. It, <laughs> You're having a it, day. It like just basically was acid, right? That I remember. It was basically <laughs> the notes acid. that we have on it are just are question, mark, question, question mark. Question <laughs> mark. Cody, because... what are you? Like? You gave me this because Cody. It I, was I forgot. From... It was. <laughs> Well, you better start remembering, friend, because we don't have yeah. notes you guys, on it. You guys yeah. got it on the same trip where he like forced somebody to drink something yes. and they got dissolved from the oh. inside. Right? Sexy. Uh, oh, sexy! Oh, everybody yes. when he forced yeah. everybody to. Oh, see, yeah. I wasn't there. I just knew that at least one person. Oh, yeah, was this forced was one of his something. We because I charmed him and he he really likes me, so yeah. he gave us yeah. some all of the gold. He, he gave really us some extra me. shit too, yeah. um, and all that it says is potion of throat shaving but we don't know what it does mind. because none Bottle. of us had alchemy yeah um <laughs> yeah um <laughs> looking yeah, over it, at obs is he like as other people walk by like if he finishes a drink and somebody walks by does he just like take their drink or is he considered enough at least to go just be refilling his drink each time he just goes and refills his okay, okay. Mm. he he doesn't that would for him to steal from other people would require him to acknowledge other people. Mm. And that's okay. too much effort for are, Obs. Are Obs... other people deliberately ignoring him, though? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, other people are avoiding him because, like, um, like getting stepped on by a T-Rex, uh, it, it, like, you just don't want to be in the area. You don't have to know how bad <laughs> it will hurt, but you get to, yeah. to know it'll right. hurt. Like, get yeah. Up, yeah. get... Mm. Yeah, like like he. I don't need to find that out to for break, myself. No. He seems to break furniture completely by happenstance mm. and doesn't notice, right? And it's not an intentional breaking of furniture. It's not an intentional breaking of people in in any way. 
but he he very much uh, is is just like, all right, I'm grabbing this. And if his hand grabs part of the table along with the, the turkey leg and he snaps it off, he just, mm. he does it. I was um, okay. Yeah. So, Ottles, uh, are any of you trained in alchemy? No. I can be. I haven't can finished oh, my yeah. new skin yet. <sighs> I can be for 10 minutes. That, mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Knowledge cleric, baby. That's so, my favorite part of them. Uh, yeah, I um, channel divinity. Knowledge of the Ages is an action. You can use it to gain proficiency with any skill or tool for 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, so you will need an alchemist kit to test this and, and find out what it is. Easy enough to get, but maybe not something you have immediately at hand. Yeah. I mean, you could go outside and in 30 minutes, an hour, have one and test mm -hmm. it and come back. Can can either of you and he... Oh! Will... We still have vials of poison gator blood from... The tainted from gator the... blood? Tainted gator because blood from the river. Because that may make him crazy. It may not actually hurt him. It just may make him worse. Like, it won't take him out of the running. Because remember, we tried to kill each other. We won't necessarily make him replaceable. He may just... That's pretty fucking replaceable oh. if he's if, trying to kill his but, co-workers. And that's only if you know what it is. Because remember, like, some people, like, Mars barely... Or Talroth barely seemed like anything was wrong with him. And so it may not be enough... Excuse me. For... He told me what to do. Exactly. <laughs> that's to a lot of people wouldn't res register at all because he does that a lot. Um, mm. So, like... It genuinely may be too subtle. Like, I like the chaos, but that feels too subtle for this What's, specifically. What, do we know what the rock goo does? Or who, or when we got Don't that? Don't say that sentence ever. We have two vials of rock goo. Don't say that sentence ever. <laughs> is it bird goo or is smell. it just no, uh, like stone? Stone, stone goo. goo. Okay. Uh, if it's rock goo like a bird, it's definitely just poop. If uh, once I get my alchemist kit, I'll be able to tell you what all of these things are. <laughs> because my, do either of you, um, are either of you able to make someone else invisible? And he will look to oh, the oh, two oh, 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 oh. Yes, on. she can. Yes, oh, she can. Okay, good. Yes, she can. Oh, Navi, and... you can turn people invisible? What? what happened to I can't do magic? I can do some. Oh my god. Right? Because... If we want to make it real simple, we turn either myself or Grizz invisible, and I, one of us, whenever um, Obs gets up to go get more food and leaves his drink unattended, we go over, pour some whatever, but probably Otto's potion of throat shaving. He comes back, he drinks it, he dies. His throat is shaved. Yeah, his throat is shaved. So Fancy. I like the, I like the idea, but we are supposed to not do anything here or oh. in the bar, right? Oh. Yeah. That's Drawing why I was attention. For something slow. Yeah. Drawing attention to the the establishment will undermine yeah. Radovan's willingness and Emery's willingness to trust information coming out yeah. of it. Yeah. 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 Does Does Obs have any sort of like backpack or pack or anything? Uh, he's got a big belt that has, um, he's got, a, he, he's got a chunky belt and it has, oh, uh, a chunky belt. yeah, you look can okay. I, in a can I do belt. a, can I do a detect magic to know what that is? Cause Megan thinks she knows. <laughs> um, you, you, if you'd like to cast detect magic, you're yes. welcome to. Cause if it's yeah. what I think it is, yes. then we need to find a different plan. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Uh, that's fair. La -la 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 Okay, you cast detect magic. Um, the entire room is magic. This 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 place in general is magic. Um, yes, it is very bright. Uh, you see, Grizz, do you, your bracers light up. Uh, do you have any other magic items on you? Uh, nope. Just Narvi, my personality. What magic? Do you have any magic items on you? Underneath the the uh, sort of bandages, um, you can see sort of like a um, a body shaped glow. Uh, from Navi. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Rotomi, Rotui. Uh, um, I'll remember that one in a minute, I'm sure. Tui. Tui. Yep. 
they are they they have some um, uh, magic uh, rings on. Um, Obs, his belt is magic, uh, but it is not the entirety of the belt. Um, you realize he has um, there's like big pockets, so he's it got like the pockets. belt of many fanny packs on. What that I are, want that. that have um, that have uh, they're like a handy haversack, but in a belt form. Um, but so this is, oh, it's a utility belt. Basically, yeah, yeah. But it wouldn't be uh, like dwarven kind. Uh, you didn't cast identify, but just on a cursory examination, it the entirety of the belt doesn't look to be what's magic. It looks to be the actual pockets okay. that are magic. So it's not. You were wondering if it gave him constitution advantage, weren't you? Oh, then then it's immune to poison. Yeah. So, so all of this conversation is moot. Yeah. Okay. He just it doesn't seem like quite the discerning type. So same plan: turn invisible, but instead of poisoning his drink, just drop a bottle of poison wine in his pocket. He'll find it on his way Actually, home. Yeah. I like it. That's, if this is a man, I doubt this is the only place he indulges the same way. You said, you said you had, um, blood as well. Oh, I mean, oh, y- uh, yes. It, could it not be said that in for a penny, in for a pound is like, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh. Sure. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. Right. If you're gonna Might go big, well. you're gonna go big. Yeah. Are, are you including, uh, as Matthew has pointed out in the chat, the people goo? I hate that. that is... Stop, we also stop. Have... With all the goo, all the goo needs to go. It's also quite. It's also activation time unknown, duration and a rarity unique. What it does unknown. Same exact thing as the rock goo. Hug. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I have um, to say about that. Hug. Yeah. Just Past Cody uh, didn't do future Cody any favors. Because he decided Cody that it was no future idea. Cody's this is, problem. This is, this is going to be one of those things where we guess what happens and then Cody goes, yeah, that was it. <laughs> we'll see. Good job. We'll Cody might chat, guess what happens chat too. Build it. We'll let the patrons build it live. I thought <laughs> that the rock goo was the same thing as our potion of become ooze, um, but those are different. Mm-hmm. So I think your rock and people goo was stuff that you collected actually on your first adventure. Um, They're so far apart. Yes, they Luke were. Shit. They were in the tower. Oh. Uh, because the people in rocks and were, were melted labeled. down. Cool. Um, labeled. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, for from the uh, once in a generation talent, La Rachen. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anna extraordinaire. Cool, 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 cool. I love what pack rats you guys are because yeah. you have so much crap from early adventures but that isn't I don't remember. But is it a good thing remember. we did because uh, that saved us with Screebers grabbing the, the potion of whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. it saved us. So you're yeah. welcome. So Obs is uh, making his way out of the bar. You guys uh, that wanted to track him are are welcome to do so. With advantage, Andrew um, and Clever Stitch, I would first like stealth rolls um, from, from each of you and then survival checks as you make your way through it. Clever Stitch will give you advantage on your survival check because of your background. Um, Andrew, you should have advantage on survival from- um, Hunter's Mark, yeah. Hunter's Mark, right. Uh, that was a 27 on my stealth. Nicely done. Uh, that was also a 27 on my stealth. Twinsies. We also matched up on the uh, intelligence check. Let's see if we do it on survival Hell too. Oh yeah, let's do it. That, that was natural 20 for a 33. A 16. <laughs> a 17. So Amazing. it's a 16. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Obs, Close. Obs is not hard to, to track. Um, Clever Stitch, you do a great job trailing behind him, whereas Grizz uh, and, and Benedict perform a, a clinic of tracking. Benedict is from... staying with Yeah, Benedict Fable. is staying with Fable. So, I apologize. So We're not friends. not Benedict. <laughs> Uh, but Grizz performs a clinic of tracking by being in front of him yes. uh, somehow in, in mm. all ways. 
And even when Clever Stitch is like, all right, I got him. Grizz lost him. You turn the corner and like Grizz is he's there here. with the newspaper or he's, you know, he's window he's shopping. He's got a new hat. He is a different right. person he's, every yeah. time you see him. Absolutely. You can see one of Hobbs's pockets just open up and Grizz's eyes come out. Right. <laughs> Shuffles back down. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. What the Pirates of the Caribbean ride is yes, going on? It's just when Jack chops up in four different yeah. scenes. Yeah. You didn't see yeah. moves. It's like, how? Okay. Um, you guys do a great job. You track him. You find out where Obs is staying. He is staying at one of the. Um, it's a guest house for a local um, bakery merchant. Mm. Um, and it looks like that dude bakes him like a, a, a baker's dozen of sweet rolls every morning. Um, you you know how to get there. You observe the place. It's a simple home. Uh, it looks like it's kind of a one bedroom cottage thing. Like this baker clearly does very well. Um, Might have been a place that he was rent that he rents out. You know, the smokestack is because uh, you guys did very well. I'll, I'll just give you a chunk of information here. Uh, doesn't look like he lights a fire. Uh, doesn't look like he spends a, a ton of time there, mostly sleep. Um, you get the feeling he comes back in the afternoon, uh, like wakes up, goes out, eats, comes back, sleeps. Like that's kind of like that's ops, right? Pretty simple dude. Um, it is very central to the best restaurants in the, in the city. Um, but he does spend, he spends every night in that bar. You get, that's the, you get the feeling that that is the point of contact Mm. that when they need OBS, they're going to go and find him there. Right. You don't see any other, um, dead drops or like intricate locations or meetup spots or, or other, um, um, subterfuge like behaviors. He's a pretty simple dude. So you imagine all of that skullduggery takes place in and around the underground establishment. Cool. While they are doing that, um, Saride, (laughs) Fable, and Narvi. There we go. Uh, You guys head and and grab a alchemist kit? Yes. Awesome. Uh, So you can dig up the price of that. Is there anything else you guys wanted to pick up while uh Narvi wants while... to go shopping Narvi wants to shop it was requested a shopping okay. episode for Narvi fables ready <laughs> this is what I wanted when I came back poisoning <laughs> and shopping y'all well and there we go friends. so I think I think um if you'll allow it I realize it's a little bit late but if you'll allow it I think um as um as uh uh, uh Grizz and uh Clever Stitch sort of slink away I think behind them, um, there's like three kind of uh, like little slithers of, of dust start to start to kind of congeal uh, into little kind of rats uh, that kind of skitter um, as I cast uh, innately kind of uh, almost a flock of familiars um, that will kind of like three little rats that start to sort of like patter behind them just so that I can kind of keep uh keep eyes on um them as well as uh as well as uh you know everything else um and kind of i think every now and then i'll just kind of like flick to to sort of hopefully watch them but... make uh why don't you make me a um survival check for the familiars then go on then uh, that was a 19 plus i'm rolling well You're rolling tonight so well yeah, tonight. Good job. i'm just this, i'm just where was this during pvp Jeez. <laughs> Come on. Super excited. He did fine in my experience with PvP. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's true. Wow. So that was a uh, plus five to the survival. So that's 24 for those. So un- unless Clever Stitch and um, Grizz know about them or are in some way allowing them to, to follow them, it doesn't beat the 27 that they rolled on, on stealth. Bad. So you will lose them if um if you're just like i will sneakily send them after them because they're they're shadows at this point you know? i think it was like i think it was super sort of like um you know following following obs if i can see him but oh, okay if you can follow just... obs easy that's fine yeah, yeah that's fine I, just, just an, uh, basically it's you know 
it was sort of fully in case uh, right. that in, in a contingency, I can kind of start barreling towards uh, right. those two if need be. Okay. Um, but otherwise, I'm kind of, you know, in the bar, uh, <laughs> sat between Fable and Saraid, uh, Saraid with uh, with um, a large badger in front of us, I can only assume. Um, this is kind my of... favorite tea party. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. <clears throat> Fable is trying to, if Benedict will allow, doing like throw and catching trick shots with, with snacks that she's feeding him. Um, make an animal handling check. Okay. Not one. Hands missing. Yeah. <clears throat> animal handling. Choke my badger to death with <gasps> treat. No, never. I would die first. <laughs> I would climb in and get it. Uh, um. Fourteen. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, Grizz, Grizz is, uh, sorry, um, Benedict's on board. Um, yeah, he, 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 he participates, uh, in the game. Um, and if you ever wait too long, he just, like, crawls over and gets the food himself. Um, so, yeah. But he doesn't eat me. He doesn't. Nope. That's what Absolutely. I care about. Yet. Oh. Ah. Mm. Now I'm concerned about Norvi eating me though, because that was that was a terrifying voice. <sighs> yep, thank you. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, you guys, uh, after the familiars with the rats, we we are going shopping. Yes. Yes. yes I oh. need to pick up an alchemist kit. Do you, either of you need anything? I'm forever Warm looking out? for these very specific boots. I know about you and your boots. <laughs> Narvi, do you need anything? Um, I kind of look over my like threadbare kind of uh, jacket. He like, needs yeah, you need, you need needs... something, honey. Let's. This is on, this is that some... scene in Confessions of a Shopaholic. Are we thinking about anything? I'm thinking about everything, actually. Like, she's, he needs these and these and these, and also this would look great on Benedict, and she gets him like an ascot. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Riz says no. He's just sitting there at the bottom, like, what the fuck, Caitlin. <laughs> No, I actually, so not going to lie, I was thinking, I'm like, you know what I should get Benedict to help him be sneaky? A cloak. <gasps> really help him. I'm a fighting one. And a, and a balaclava. Let's just. Yeah. Badges, Badges and balaclava. <laughs> oh. uh, since it is late at night, uh, would my shoppers roll me an investigation check? Yes. Better dice, though. New dice. Different big boulder. Yeah, no, bad. Oh, there he um, is. Six. Cheeky little three. <laughs> so that's an eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Find nothing. Is there a so Walmart? The, so you you do find a late night um, trader. Uh, it this is, you get the feeling it's one of the smaller shops in town, um, and it's at Ralphie's Oddities. Uh, you, you're coming in and, uh, there's, uh, an older man there, uh, just sort of a white, white scruff, uh, on him, short white hair. Uh, oh, how y'all doing tonight? It's, uh, nice to see you. Uh, we can pay good coin for bad things. Uh, that's the Ralphie's motto. And uh, got a couple of things you might enjoy. A couple of things other people might not. Let me know if you have any questions. Yes, do you have an alchemist kit? Yeah, yeah, got one of those. All right, and he, he gets up out of his chair and sort of shuffles over. So it's a general store. It has uh, pretty much any mundane equipment you're looking for. The exception probably being like high-end armor. Right, so it doesn't have plate armor. It doesn't have you know any yeah. anything uh, in the PHP that's about a hundred gold pieces or less. Definitely has that. Yeah. Um, other things he so you get the feeling uh, this is kind of a fence, right? Yeah, so absolutely. Stuff he has yeah stuff he has here is more from like 
uh, just just rando things that people have sold to him. Um, but he, you can definitely get the alchemist kit, not a problem. There are better stores that will be open uh, come morning, but just at this late hour, this is what he has. He does have some uh, hide armor that is magical. It's a plus one suit of hide armor. Can we make it fit a uh, badger? Can we? Can we bungee cord it around? Uh, Thosen might be able to do that. It we would take some time. We need it for Narvi, but like in the future. Yes, that's that's perhaps all good. It's all good. <laughs> um, I think um, I think I think Narvi is going to sort of like look around in that sort of ever so slightly like wary way of kind of. I don't really know what I'm looking for or what I'm meant to be looking for. I think um, he's going to kind of. Um, lightly sort of touch um you know like any kind of trinkets that look um look like they're out of place if that makes sense sure. i think he's drawn to any of the like slightly out of place bits and pieces absolutely Sable's so um keep an eye on him and if he it gravitates toward anything particularly for a long time she might just go buy it for him if he seems confused by this like she's keep an eye <laughs> So the other two magical items that are in here, they um, there are three, uh, so not counting these, there are two potions of, of common healing, one potion of mind reading. Um, there's all of that. And then the other two items that sort of catch Narvi's attention as being out of place, magical items, right? There is a brooch of shielding yeah. and a uh, staff of the python. Oh shit! Interesting. Um, I do, this is <laughs> sorry to sorry to zig your zag every single fucking time I come on this show, but I think like he kind of like looks looks at the 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 staff of the python and kind of picks it up and looks at the face a little bit and kind of pops it down looks at the brooch and kind of weighs it in one hand and kind of puts it down. If there's anything like, like really like just, just an old keepsake of someone's that like, he's, he's, he's going for that. Uh, do you have car boots in, uh, car boot sales in? in, yep. in yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Something uh, like that, yeah. All sort of car boots, style, style, like any any sort of mismatched, uh, like okay. matryoshkas or like uh, you know a, a little sort of uh, figurine Salt of something pepper strange. Shaker. Yeah, okay. like yeah, one tiny spoons. Yeah, the, I mean this place is this place is filled with all sorts of random crap. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's see. What? Sorry to do this to you, Cody. <laughs> no, you're not. Don't no, apologize. You're good. Don't, don't apologize. Used to it. Fine. Yeah, I'm used to it. This is what we're here yeah. for. Yep. It it really is not. Have you? Uh, is not something that bothers me. Roll me a d10. D10. Uh, that's a three. A three. Um. Okay, cool. So, you stop. Uh, you stop by this. Uh, everything's sort of propped up in like, I'm gonna say like curio stations, right? You get the feeling that when things are bought, they're kind of bought together and then just like chucked or not chucked, but like properly displayed in a specific area. And so one uh, one bit of of things is is a little bit different. Um, there is sitting among this um, miniatures um, like replica, a little more finely detailed than a, a toy would be. Right? Might have been something for a, a kingdom of some kind or you know something along those lines um and as you look at it you can tell it was like a little a little toy um not in that it was like you played with it with like figurines but there was a a rolling ball it's got a rolling ball maze on it is what i'm trying to say <laughs> okay. right so it's this castle with like all these tracks and little holes and you you control the levers and and the there's a little ball that rolls around um but it's burnt 
uh, and it, it looks like it's been most like you can't complete the maze because it, the track's been burnt, right? Next to it, there does look like there's this burnt uh, sort of dwarven journal uh, that sits with it. And there is what uh, you recognize as being an iron torque but it looks like uh it if you've ever seen somebody uh who is strong and anxious take a fork and flatten it at at the dinner table Someone who somebody is has strong and anxious what somebody's you... taken this torque and like laid it out flat and started untwisting it and it's like flat in part part of the way through um and when you talk, do you mean like a like yeah a, okay yeah okay. yeah exactly um <laughs> so think, so yeah there's there's that chunk he of sort stuff. of like like it almost ignores the magic items kind of goes directly to these things and kind of like put like sort of strokes the top of the the uh the sort of like game a little bit and kind of like uh, navigates the the indentations with his finger, like gets really up close and kind of like um, sniffs it. Um, goes to the goes to the journal and kind of like opens it and starts to flick through ever so slightly. Do you um, speak dwarven? Please, yes. You're such a surprise all the time. I would love it if you just randomly spoke dwarvish. I might do. <laughs> I mean, if you can read Dwarven, you can you can potentially read the journal. Oh my god! Um, and then I sort of look at the talk and just kind of put like a finger. Is it rusty? Uh, put a finger sort of like along it a, a little bit and kind of tap it a couple of times. It's charred. Oh, it's it it's charred and it's a little brittle from having been in a fire all of these pieces looks like they got destroyed in the same fire oh, okay. um, or damaged in the same fire sort of sits there and looks at each one and kind of taps the talk a couple of times so yeah it, it is rusty it's not quite like touch it and it falls apart brittle um but yeah it does look like the all of these pieces have have been in the same fire cool and i sort of like look over to the to the um shop owner and kind of point at them and say how much how much are these well um all three of them yeah make a make a persuasion or make a deception check okay Narby. okay interesting interesting so i roll that advantage great needed it that was a five okay the 14 uh, plus uh, six, so uh, dirty 20. So uh, he rolled a 16 plus five for his insight check as, uh, because he's essentially trying to size up how much you want these. Yeah. Right? Um, and he he looks at it. I can do uh, 20 gold for the set. Okay, um, I take twenty gold out of my <laughs> out of a pouch uh, in the pocket, um, and uh, anyone watching probably sees a very empty pouch. <laughs> um, go back into my pocket, and I kind of like bring them out and kind of like tap, like pour them on the on the side, and kind of uh, yeah. Like All right, well, um, let me get a bag for you. And uh, he did not expect to get twenty gold out of it, but he's like, sure. Well, I'll get you. And he, he goes and he actually brings back a, a burnt backpack. He's like, here you go. Look, and the, the toy uh, sort of folds. And it, it, it cr like, kind of cracks. Like, it's meant to collapse in, uh, but it's it's all sort of messed up. And he's like, here you go. And, it, and you hear part of it just like, ugh. And he's like, it was like, it was like that. And he, he gets it in the bag and, and puts the rest of it in there for you and, and gives it to you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh good pick thank you uh, and i sort of i'll get the get the talk and kind of like as i as i like 
walk towards uh, sort of Fable and Sarai, just kind of go. And kind of like pop it back in the backpack and like walk, uh, walk outside. Like he got such a good deal out of that. Fable would like to make a sleight of hand check, by the way. Okay. To try to put oh, I was gonna 20 do the same gold thing. back in his pouch. <laughs> I was going to do the okay. same thing. <laughs> Both of us are trying to move it. He'll have double the money walked in the store. He'll be so confused if we do this well. <laughs> All right. Both Go of us are panic and we're like, no, like... I'm a sorcerer, not a wizard. I'm not poor. Oh. Uh, I don't have to spend money on my spell components, so uh, oh. I have bug hunt money from the last week and a half. I have like 500 extra gold because I killed so many fucking bugs in this house. All right. 500. Cute. I, said I would extra. like to point out I have negative 62 gold. Yeah, but you're alive, bitch, so <laughs> shut it. <laughs> and you're gonna and, stay that and way, And you have my eternal <laughs> friendship, so really, who's rich? You are a dirty Ooh, twenty, by the way, for sliding spirit. <laughs> Harvey, what's your passive perception? Oh, eleven. Mate. <laughs> oh, I got a fifteen, so he also there. gets twenty from me. There you burn. go. I'm just sat here with my talk, kind of going. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, there you go. Is there anything else you guys would like How? from Ralphie's? He said Ralphie's it was the staff of the what? Python. It's just From the Python. one that turns into a snake. There's not any. It's not like a plus yep. one spell. Then I don't need that. That's fine. Yep. Um, I need a staff that gives me magic shit or is a sword. I need Lucius Malfoy's staff that has like a wand in it. Uh, you have wands of the War Mage. I'm pretty sure. No, I had yeah, one. I ditched it. Oh. Um. Oh. I, so oh. I'm saying is I have to. It. I. I would have you better stuff? But. Would you like one of mine? Actually, would you like both of them? Uh, so that okay. Well, we we need to figure out what you as a cleric are rocking because yes. right now it's just a stick. Okay, great. That's I fine. told you what I wanted to do, but like we never decided. That's fine. Yeah. So it's just the, it's just a stick. That's fine. There are uh, if you head to the to the religious part of town, you'll <gasps> you'll find far more stuff for yeah. your new class. Um, anything else in this shop? Okay. No. Uh, great. Make me an alchemist check. Um, so you have your ability now. We'll say you get some more safe, uh, just to keep us moving along. Mm -hmm. um, we'll intelligence plus your proficiency, or I'll take wisdom plus proficiency. We can do that. Ooh, thank you. Okay, so it's gonna be plus four. Oh, dirty twenty. Nice. So, um, where would you like to begin? Let us begin with the throat shaving. Ah. Let us, um, indeed. Oddle. What's his name? Oddle Weird Bottle. Oddle Weird Bottle, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oddle Weird oh, Bottle. Oh, I know. I have nightmares yeah. about him. It's yeah. burnt into my In head. In real life, not just Sarai. Megan does. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, Sarai doesn't dream. And Caitlin still wants to know what the eyeball was behind the thing that Olarun wouldn't tell us about. All right. Really? Oddle. I'm gonna go back and find it and be its friend. Okay. So, Otto, uh, Otto's bottle of throat shaving is a um is an acidic jelly compound that uh, reacts with the that has a timed reaction with the saliva of uh, the, of someone that drinks it so it literally coats the esophagus and the entire digestive tract uh down into the um into the stomach where the uh acid of the stomach begins to uh break it down and there is you realize that there is a secondary component to this, um, and you're familiar with it. You guys had to drink it every day, and ah. he gave you the soap for it, right? Um, to prevent this essentially from turning caustic from within. Uh, it will, it, you could maybe dilute it if you did it very well, 
you could make it something that would uh, would worsen over time. But as it stands right now, after 24 hours, every hour, um, the person is taking acid damage in their throat and uh, esophagus, um, a D6 of acid damage cumulatively every hour. So, um, after 24 hours it's another it's 24 d6 at a time um once you hit 20 d6 of acid damage it's burnt through the vocal cords uh people can no longer uh talk um you are unable to eat or swallow while this is while a really terrible man it. right we're taking away the only thing he loves like he's a monster right like i have to make sure we're not using this for sure he's like, definitely terrible we hate I'm him just a gourmand <laughs> we're not using this Why? That's so, oh god Why? let's talk okay <gasps> all right so she sees I'm that not th- i'm not Keep there some but... of our humor, <laughs> uh, maybe okay so she's not going to tell anybody what that does. We're just going to put that bed boy in yep. a deep dark And then, uh, what's a rock goo? A uh, rock goo, right? Uh, so it is a it is a concentrated version of um, of earth elemental compounds. So any magic that utilizes um, earth magic, so shape stone, stone wall. Um, summon earth elemental, earthquake, pretty much anything that along those lines. You can use rock goo in as a material component, and uh, for a dose of it, uh, cast it one spell level higher uh, above your maximum spell level. Okay. It is also a component for rituals, in which uh, you can use it to create potions. Things like uh, potion of stone skin, um, stuff like that. Uh, it is also a component for um, if you want to do like rituals. It can extend um, the duration of of rituals. So it, it's kind of the arcane dust, of, but it's focused on earth and stone magics. Uh, so you you could apply it a ton of different ways, but by itself not a terribly useful alchemical reaction you're not sure what it would do if somebody ate it um if they have stone giant in their heritage it may cause an unknown reaction may 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 turn them to stone may make them bigger and stonier you're not sure um what a fun way to experiment and find out though what about yep. people goo? Ah. Uh, con- so a concentrated, uh, similar necromantic uh, component, right? Okay. So things for it, it can enhance healing magics, um, right. but at the same time, it can enhance anything that deals with dead or living bodies, resurrecting them. Also, a strong component for you would guess like this could help make golems similar to the the rock thing could make rock golems this could help make flesh golems golem. uh, usually you need a manual to to know how to do that but this looks like one of those components um also you think uh if you were good enough with it it could be used for um not abjuration transmutation magics that um so like alter self things that oh, physically change okay. your body Right, okay. it's a concentrated component. Wow, what a versatile goo! Yeah. Um, <laughs> Again, that's, that's not... my opener after break. By the way, um, we're not breaking tonight. Thank God. I'm a versatile goo. Uh, Will Yoda? Can I make something? Can I make something? In ten minutes, it's going to be tough. What are you trying to make? I don't know. I'm really not comfortable giving anyone an auto special. Okay. Do you, are, um, are you, 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 so you do this for 10 minutes at a time. It's going to probably take you at least an hour to oh. figure out and brew the auto neutralizing agent. Um, you could 
go and find an alchemist in town. There's plenty of them. And they'll you can probably pay them to do it. But you would be exposing them to whatever this you you'd be letting the genie out of the bottle. Yeah. The auto bottle. What a weird bottle it is. Okay. It is. God damn it. Fuck. Okay. I think during this time, sorry, I'll let I'll let uh, mm-hmm. Cle- Clever Stitch and uh, and Grizz get a turn in a second, but um, I think during during, during some of the uh, no uh, <laughs> during some of this time, I think uh, like <laughs> I think Na- Navi will have um, used one of the one of his familiars um, to um, doesn't have them for long. It's an hour, uh, but within the time that we've still got um mm-hmm. probably send one down uh, or two down into the sewers for sort of like um some some wreck wrecky kind of uh work looking for potential otugs uh to see if i i don't necessarily know how kind of rife they are in the sewers but um you guys have encountered at least two of them so i will say and and narvi encountered at least one i think um, so yeah, you you can find one. Yeah, done. Cool. No big deal. You do it. Cool. And I think I think during this time, I I, I sort of um, like uh, sort of side eye uh, fable a little bit and say like, you know, the disease could still work if we uh, wanted. Um, I've got eyes on an otiu. Um, I don't know whether we would want to. It'd be easier to kill him, but, um, you know, um, <laughs> do you say you've got eyes on one and have you fought one before? Yeah. You sure? I mean, yeah, one. Just look, did just scrutinizing him really hard. Did you beat it before? Did I beat it before, Cody? Make a history check at disadvantage. That's, uh, I <laughs> having some thoughts. Um, Fable's trying to put his weird story together, having n- heard nothing about him. <laughs> uh, 12 uh, plus 5 is a 17. You think so, yes. I think so, yeah. Well. Oh. Um, go ahead. I mean, it, it might be worth a shot, so we could save those things for later, because they seem very... If if Saride was sharing any of this with us, um, then she yeah. wasn't. Um, in case those things happen to be potent and uh, not worth wasting on this one person, maybe, uh, I'm willing to give it a try. If you think that we can deal with it safely. None of us should be dying before we get to the task at hand, I don't think. I I know they can be um, infectious to some Mm. um, with me less so Mm. I suppose. Um, So I'd understand if you didn't want to get too close, but well, luckily, I don't have to get close. And she summons this tiny little bit of fire in. Very good aim from a very long ways away. I think, yeah, uh, Navi just sort of watches the flame for a bit and looks at you and goes, Okay. Um, right. Well, I'll start to the others. But if you know where one is, and you think we can deal with it, I'm up for it. I haven't seen you you lot fight, but um No you haven't you look- <laughs> Speaking of which, because you're new. I'll tell Grizz the same thing if we're going in there. You know a lot of groups, the instinct is to protect each other and stay close. But if I run away ever, I need you to let me. Because it's very bad for people if they stay too close to me while I'm fighting. Just by the way. I trust you. 
good. sort of nods a couple of times and kind of uh, like looks down, starts uh, sort of rifling through the pages of uh, the notebook um, for a second. Hmm. Anything good in there? Yeah. Uh, anything good in there? <laughs> Do you speak Dwarven? Is this, yeah, he, yes. we, we decided yes Great. or discovered yes. Um, we will deal with that in a moment. Yeah. So real quick, I I actually um, just because I'm I'm helping out because you don't you're a new cleric. Yeah. Um. So I'll give you a, a, a bit of divine. Yeah. Um. How many bottles of people goo do you have? Good God! Don't say rude. That. Um. You can't just ask a lady that. <laughs> God, Cody, you can't just ask a woman how many how many bottles of people goo she has. Her stitch seems to believe it's one. I, we're not See, even that's, seeing the, them that's the problem is that people go we don't have a we don't have a quantity typically in here just because they were being split. It was being okay. listed more than once. And people goo and rock goo are both only listed once. Great. So one. So yeah, I one. think one of each. Great. Um so, as a cleric, you have access to a spell called Contagion, um, which essentially in inflicts a disease if the creature fails three con saves, mm -hmm. right? With the people goo, because, and this is the point, this is the part that is interesting for you. You can do one of, you have two options that might be useful here. One, you can uh, give a disadvantage on those constitution saving throws, using it as a component when you cast the spell. It's an mm -hmm. action, you have to touch it. The other thing you can do is make it a persistent disease so that if the disease takes hold, it will uh, last the duration even with casting of um, restoration, sure. lesser if restoration. I, if I partnered the, that with uh, Bane, uh, I mean, if you baned him first so that he had disadvantage and then did the the contagion, yeah, you you could do that. But this would use your people goo. Uh, yeah. You guys can st also go get the Otiug and and do things with that. But I didn't know if you could cast fifth level spells. I realized I you can. could. She will explain that option. And as you explain it, Grizz way. and Clever Stitch arrive. I could use the versatile people goo. I'm sorry, did you just say people goo? She said versatile, did? versatile oh, people yeah. goo. That's very specific. People I goo. We had that. It's usually very singular, but this one's versatile. Many things. So did okay. you find out what everything did? The um and I think for um this the best bet's going to be me and the people goo. All right. Um, what are you planning to do with it? If you don't mind my asking. Do I drink it? No. No, no, no. no. You would, um, in the casting of the spell, you would essentially coat your... You would coat your hand with it. Yeah, okay. wherever you're casting the spell out of to touch. Okay. Um, so you would you would trace symbols uh, like on your hands and palms, yeah, utilizing just do a quick it. Quick little lotion wash. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you cast it, you would mm -hmm. you would that's how you would utilize it. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. We found we found out where he lives. It seems like he spends either most of his time sleeping in this little baker's shack or uh, at the bar that we found him. Yeah. All right. So we've got pretty much immediate access to him whenever we want to. Yeah, you let me know. Um, the spell that you're thinking of casting, do you have to touch him or is it at range? I have to touch, touch him, but I can. It's all right. And him not notice that you're casting a spell at him? He's not necessarily the sharpest knife in the drawer. And I know I'm not as musically inclined, but I'm still awfully distracting. All right. Or, alternatively, she looks over at Benedict. 
Remember I told you we could disguise you and do a circus act? Now is the fucking time! <laughs> Just circus performance. <laughs> and then someone sneaks and does the thing. We'll be distracting, all of us. I, I have an entire act planned out with this specific skill set. We have a trick shooter. We have me as the ringmaster. We have the dancing bear and his gnome chef, g dwarven chef, who can, I'm sure, do kind of fun things with cast iron skillets. And we have whatever Narvi does. And then <laughs> fish a new hands. puzzle box. And um, Peggy. And and oh no no no! Oh, this is legitimately, and I'm Judy. Judy, yes, that's exactly what it is. I'm just saying we can go no out in front of his house one. and just be distracting, <laughs> and then Sarai can go do her fucking thing. I've been preparing I'm, for this my entire life. I'm I'm glad that you said that Grizz could probably do fun things with skillets when we all know that he's just going to be walking through the crowd. Huh? Peanuts. Yeah, that's peanuts. True. I was a, I was I, I was imagining like a whole bit of like, can you just juggle? I, I, like, if you work with like metal, especially I imagine chefs back then, fucking strunk. I imagine you could True. do fun knife right. things, like a hibachi grill. Put it on the, <laughs> the grill, yeah. Make it like a do show. We... <laughs> hibachi grill in a carnival setting. Yes! <laughs> That's my kind of chaos, my dude. Let's go! Shrimp in the pocket from 300 feet away. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. In the do air! We... That's the circus that Fable's plan has always been to retire and open a circus of her own. Ah. Now the new plan is that it's a culinary circus. And that's, there it is. Do we business theater. together. This is a dinner great theater. idea. A dinner, yeah. theater. dinner theater. It's the birth of dinner, of dinner I, theater. Do we want to, um, Navi, you had suggested Otiogs earlier, right? Yeah. Do we want to throw as much spaghetti against the wall as we can and hope and see what sticks? See, that's what I'm talking about. That's a chef's kind of show. You just, oh, you're, you are you were not speaking literally. Uh, I, no, You meant no. metaphorically. I, yeah. I'm just going to um, go back to, and she's just going to go back to <laughs> slowly, slowly braiding. But no, she's not doing the trinket thing. She's just gonna go back to scratching Benedict behind the ears and hoping that he loves her when she's stupid. I'll cast a first level speak with animals just so I can translate for Benedict. But, back yeah. to back to Fable. Just whatever. Okay. okay. This can be an aside. <laughs> that's what we're no, the that's show. the rest of the <laughs> set. Yeah. This is what we need. Yes. yes. Um, ben Benedict's the 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 do or uh, Grizz is the dog owner that's like, <sighs> but can magically tell you what the dog is thinking. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Yeah, I I'm wondering if we, um, if we want to get the Otiag stuff, and still give him a bottle of poison wine, Back on his up. way home. Hey. Yeah. So, I mean, it's good to have backup plans in case something goes wrong because the spell you're casting sorry is that something that you can accidentally bump into him at the bar and it won't kick in until later or, or should we do it within a minute? within a minute it would st fail. start to take effect and yeah we can or just or fail <clears throat> or fail okay we can just do it. It would have to happen sometime near his house, but you can accidentally mm -hmm. bump into him on the street or something. What a crazy random yeah. happenstance. Yeah. But um, yeah. Otiugs in the meantime? Otiugs. All right. <laughs> yeah. For the night, while Obs has turned in for the evening. Our heroes venture down into the sewers. Just as I turn on the rainy village, I have I to like go it. look for Poor guy. Uh, it's okay. I'll figure that out in a moment. But so many drains. I know, yeah, <laughs> so that's just the, the sound of the rain coming through the drains and hitting. And mainly the in Spain floor. and on the plains. The rain drains. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Georgie. God. Oh, oh God. They all float down here. All right. <laughs> they all float down here, Georgie. <laughs> uh, Thank you. You guys travel down into the underground waterways, much of which you have 
spent some time exploring before. And while it is perhaps not the most glamorous event, it seems to be the frequently most heroic as uh, you all spend an inordinate amount of times in the sewers. Yeah, you're welcome. But you do track down one of the locations of Othilg. Uh, I'd like all of you to make stealth checks as you make your approach. Ooh. Oh, and you get advantage on that because of the tattoo. Yeah. Hello, stuff. So that is for me, for Fable, a uh, 19. 27. Oh my god. I have a plus nine. The fuck? 21 for your big boy. Yes. Nine. Oh. oh. Eight, 18 for Benedict and eight for Grizz. Grizz! <laughs> I rolled a nat. I rolled. Oh, sorry, nine. I rolled a natural one. Oh I thought I had a plus God. seven. Okay. <laughs> As you guys are making your approach uh, towards one of the the these, this is the filth water, right? This is uh, where it is all sort of drained to and is is kind of pooling, and you you see the slough and the the bob of the tentacled eyed creature. And as it is, uh, you guys are nearing, um, I would like everyone to flip for initiative, please. Oh, crap, cards. It would be it... two seconds. I'm just going to run and get some. Okay. I got, my family knows and loves me, by the way. I got all of these playing cards also for my birthday. They're all different okay. patterns and they're all pretty. <laughs> Not using them tonight, though. All right, I see two people with a king. I have a queen. You have a queen. <laughs> I believe. Uh, Grizz, you are up first. What would you like to do? You have to unmute your mic first. Sorry, this is as we like find the OTX. Yeah, you, you see them. You're making your way up. You're about 30 feet away. Uh, I'll say, uh, yeah, you we'll say you're probably about 60 feet away and you and Saride, while tr trying to be stealthy, have made enough noise that you, you see the tentacles with the teeth and the eyes sort of Stop. at you and, uh, well, you, you took too long, so you'll go next. That's absolutely uh, fine. so Grizz, you're up first. Uh, yeah, Grizz is going to move up 25 feet. I okay. guess we're doing this uh, and a disadvantage because I can't get within my normal range increment. Right. Like two throwing dagger attacks. And then okay. Benedict's going to kind of move up along with me. Uh, 19 on the first. Hits. And just so roll. The second one's only a 12. Uh, 12 does not hit. Okay. The first dagger comes uh, wheeling through the air, cutting into one of the tentacles. Uh, roll your damage for me. That's nine points of piercing damage. Okay. And uh, bonus action, I should have done this first. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. All right. I'll give it to you. Go ahead. Roll the damage with it. So, uh, another five points of damage. All right. So a total of 14? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Narvi, you're up. Um. How far away are we from it? 60 Sorry. feet. Amazing. I think uh, Navi is going to start to sort of co coalesce the, the uh, weapon in his hand using his action, um, and it creates a an enormous great sword. Uh, it looks uh, like it is slightly too large for his um, body um, uh, in full anime style. <laughs> um, and then um, he sort of looks back at you all um, and kind of with a slightly sheepish grin and kind of like steps into the sewage. Um, and as he steps into it and kind of like sinks down, he immediately starts to grow. And you can see kind of like the, the, um, the uh, sort of wraps around his arms start to kind of like, uh, like start to burst um, as uh, you see sort of gold, um, gold, like uh, sort of, uh, plating almost on his body start to um, start to grow and in, in, increase as he becomes um, large technically mm -hmm. um, and he starts to run at the um, 
uh, Otiog um, sprinting towards it. Okay. Sounds good. After Narvi, Saride. Oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to cast Confusion on myself. Had a queen and I was so low in the lineup. What the hell? (sighs) Um, she's going to bonus action, uh, cast Spirit Shroud. Okay. And then she's going to... How far is Otiog from me? Uh, 60 feet. Oh. Well, she's going to start moving towards it. So, um, yeah, 30 feet towards the nice man. Okay. Oh, and I can still do an action. Except I don't really have any action. Oh, yeah. And then uh, action... Um, guiding bolt him up the butt. All right, classic. It's a two. It's an eleven. An eleven misses. So the divine energy sparks from your hands and uh, just sears uh, out and away briefly. Uh, after that, clever. St- uh, no. Um, Cable. Thank you. Yeah. Fable. Hi. Fable. Um, Fable. Um, and I'm going to bonus action Mantle of Flame. Obvi. Okay. Um, and then I am going to... She's going to... Um, do... Did anyone get in melee with him just then? Mike? No? no. Good. Thank God. No one's in melee. Then I will take now to throw ice knife in case it explodes. I don't want it hitting any of the friends. But I will okay. ice knife now. Um, All right. So I would like to to cast that not at that high of a level, please. I don't need to waste a third level right now. Um. So that is a ooh a twenty three to hit. Okay. Ah. Yeah, twenty three absolutely hits. Good. Um, and that is shit damage. Um. That's that's one whole damage. Okay. Um, but because it hit, I get to do the thing again. Um, and then the target and each creature within five feet of it must succeed on a dex saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. So please make a dex save. All right. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll your 2d6. Great. I shall roll them here because I can't find them there. Oh, there. And then I get two sixes. I shit you not. I will take a picture. So... All the cold damage on that. Okay. Sounds good. Ugh. Anything else, Fable? You staying where you are? Or are you getting any closer? Gonna get, um... Gonna stay in the general vicinity, but scatter away from friends. I don't want us to all be grouped and clumped. Because I don't know what okay. this thing can do, because I've never fought one. Sounds good. Um, so... The ice knife hits uh, into the tentacle of one of the Otiugs. As it bursts out, you see uh, another set of tentacles sort of wheel back and around. And then uh, both of the the quadrupedal eyeless sort of tooth monstrosities, aberrations technically, uh, come rushing up the the river uh, to you guys. Uh, The first one is going to center in on uh, Tom, uh, who has, yep, moved within. uh, Yes. I moved 30 foot, so. 30 foot, yep. Are we going to get a picture of this up on the stream? Yes, we are. I'm working on it, folks. Woo! Yay! Oh, all right. Because I'm in control. <laughs> Go for it. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to trust you to do that. So, uh, let's see. Tentacle attacks first and a bite. Uh, so, uh, 18 on a, a tentacle from... Eight. Yeah, 18 hits. Okay, the other two will miss because the next highest one is a 13. I know that's that's not going to hit. Uh, so that is going to be, come here, all right, um, that is eight, uh, bludgeoning damage plus 
five piercing damage. So a total of 13 there. You are not medium, so you are not grappled or restrained. Um, and then it attempts to bite you. That does not work. And then Grizz, uh, because you had you move 25 feet, the tentacles have a reach of 10 feet. Uh, the two tentacles can reach you uh, okay. of the second Otyug. And so let's do that. Uh, that is a 21 and a 17 to hit. They both hit. Both of those are going to hit. All so right. Hold, just give me two seconds. Yep. Um, once per short rest, uh, I, I as as um, the one of the uh, sort of um, uh, attacks uh, swings out towards Grizz, um, yeah. like a flash of um, of like um, it looks to be some sort of writing on um, on uh, sort of uh, Navi's chest uh, flashes mm -hmm. out, and um, instead of it hitting. Um, Oh, it, it sort of hits Grizz still, but um, as it hits, um, there's like a, a lash um, that that opens up on the um, other Otyug. Excuse using, him. Using okay. my, my cloud rune for the day. Ooh. Okay. Now we know. Uh, more. So I'll roll the damage on uh, on that for one of them, and for the first one, that is going to be. A uh, total of 14 bludgeoning and piercing. So I added that together for you. You are grappled uh, and restrained, Grizz. And then the second attack is going to slam over into the Otiag. Oh, and deals uh, 15 points to his buddy. Okay, that is it for the Otiags. I believe, uh, Clever Stitch? Hell yeah. Um, so I'm just going to unleash a hellstorm of arrows um, uh -huh. okay. so on both of you are grappled right both of one you... only grizz oh, okay perfect then um yeah. i'm going to shoot the one that is the grappling grizz okay um i am gonna make it sharpshooter so let's okay. see that's uh 23 on the first one and i'm gonna go ahead and make that a grasping arrow as well okay yeah um so that's going to be this Ooh, nice. the thing we're currently fighting is now Plus. on the oh god um, i mean really sexy but also fucking gross also i need to i need to fucking edit so it's not just covering grizz Okay, so the first, uh, the first damage is uh, thirty damage. Six of the six of those is poison. Okay. Um, and then the second attack is a uh, twenty-two to hit. Yep. That damage is another twenty-four damage. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my. Uh, my uh, quick quiver, quiver of quickness. Okay. For Jesus Christ. For a third attack. Uh, ooh, that's gonna be a miss though, probably with an eleven. Eleven does miss. Ah, uh, okay. Well. Armor class of fourteen. That's all right. I'm done. Okay. With that new round. Mm. Ten. All right. A ten. Bad guys are at the end of the initiative. Looks like Grizz is up first on the ace. I'm gonna yeah. trust you guys to call me out after that. What do you got, Grizz? Uh, so currently grappled. Uh, am I grappled by and the restrained. one that, and restrained? Am I yep. grappled by the one that uh, hunters marked me? Hunters marked you? Or that? Or that I hunters marked? Sorry. I... Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, as it's a disadvantage, but I because it's holding me at like ten feet away, right? It, so one of the tentacles is holding you. You can attack the tentacle, but it's at yeah. disadvantage just because you are restrained. Yeah, and it's I'm flicking a knife at it. And disadvantage. Where'd my d20s go? Uh, is a twenty-one to hit? Yeah, that'll definitely hit. Like that is for 10 points of piercing damage. Okay, um, nice. And, 
And then for my second uh, attack, I'm going to, like, uh, fire. Right, do something, you lousy pile of fur. And uh, Benedict is going to run up and bite it. Um, I've got his. Amazing. Uh, and he got a 21 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. For eight point or nine points of piercing damage. Nine points of piercing damage. Nice. Okay. And yep. That's it. That's all I got. Sounds good. After um, Grizz, who's next? What did, what is that? I had, I had a ten, oh, okay. so that would me. So did so did I. Okay. Uh, so you have higher decks than me. I guarantee. Okay. It. Yeah. It's true. Um, uh, once more with feeling, um, to the same one, why not, um, all sharpshooter again, the okay. first attack is a 17, mm -hmm. uh, so that damage is 18 damage. Yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, is it still up? It is just, okay. just barely holding on. And Uramas, uh, that's a natural 18 for 25. Yep. And then uh, 17 damage to that. Yeah, that dropped it right there with the the second wow. arrow. Uh, after just a hailstorm of arrows and knives come piercing into the Otiag, it uh, goes splashing down into the water, the upper portion of its torso still visible, the tentacle going slack around Grizz. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus action for the Quiver of Quickness on the other one. Okay. Uh, that is a 14 to hit. Just barely. 14 is the AC. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grasping arrow on this one as well. Okay. Ooh, yes. Uh, that is going to be a total of 34 damage, 10 of which is poison. Okay. And then, because I don't want anybody to get hurt, I will action search. All right. And shoot it twice more. That's a miss. Shooter. Thank you. And then a 22 for my final attack for 20 damage. 22 with the final attack for, for 20 damage. Yeah. 20 damage. Yeah. Well, action surge gives you both attacks. It did, and I missed on the first one. Oh, you the missed. First one was an 11. Yes. Okay. Great. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, um, as Clever Stitch just riddles uh, the Othiugs with with arrows, um, the rest of you are like, well, I could go home, and he would just kill them all. But um, yeah. keep going. Uh, who's next? I am. Uh, go for it. Well, I'm not going to waste any big spells on that then, and she's just going to um, Firebolt. But because of my bracers, I get for free to do it twice. Um, yep. And because I'm mantle flaming right now, I get extra, I get fire damage for fucking days. So let's see what she looks, she, oh really? Okay, fine, show off. Uh, she's going to attempt to hit him with this fucking, um, that's a 16 to hit on the first one. Okay. That is um, 10 plus, so 13 points of fire damage on the first one. Okay. And then she's going to do it again. That's okay. a 22 to hit. Yep. And yes. 17 points of fire damage on the second one. That is exactly what you needed. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> showtime. Just... No, that's just, she'll, she'll do the first one, watch it, and just not even look, and uh, just watch locking eyes with Clever Stitch and a pew pew for the second one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, 228 uh, hit points in two Smoking. rounds. Holy <laughs> shit. So, good job. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Navi, Navi is fully just sort of like there ready and goes. <laughs> <laughs> you said you hadn't seen us fight before. He still hasn't. Seen two of us. It happened too fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I said I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the raid and the host, Hi Ravnos. Yeah. Hello. Thank you guys very, very much. 
This Those is things uh, get people sick really easy, so I was just trying to make sure none of you got sick. Sure, I that appreciate was that. It. This is this is a much more positive, you know, experience coming down in the sewers than I think last time I did. Um, let's get to work. And the Grizz pulls out for the first time. You guys have seen the knife that's strapped across his chest is just this long chef's knife. Yes. And he starts dragging the Yotugs out of the water. This is a knife. That just the crocodile <laughs> Dundee, Dundee moment. Like, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, Navi help helps to sort of like scoop the Otiogs up and sort of like pop them on the um, sure. on the, uh, the 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 yeah. What's All the right. One? Let's. Um, so this is the real challenge. It's a survival check. Okay. Um, here's the deal. The concentration the difficulty of the the um the difficulty to resist the disease is going to matter with how well you remove the gland right so the higher it is you have two chances the higher it is the harder it's going to be for obs to resist it and overcome it Okay, so who's who's doing it? It's a survival right. check. Yes. Time to break these down. Yeah, can I give him advantage? If you are trained in survival, you can. Okay, no. I'm I'm proficient in survival, so I I I'm guessing that I'll, I'd probably sort of be kind of opening the mouths up with uh, my big old more uh, my big old uh, paws. Um, sort of ready for you to, <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a point. Like um, in this in this new sort of like bigger, um, the you can see that the kind of the um, the the wrappings have kind of sh uh, shred away, and there's almost like a kind of um, almost like kind of Anubis like kind of uh, shit going on with like the the the. <laughs> The hands are ever so slightly clawed. The uh, the legs have kind of like have become like sort of slightly uh, what's the word den uh, dendrite uh, like um, you know how like uh, werewolves have the sort of have the heel no. off the ground yep, like yeah. a kind of real kind of thing like that. And he kind of like grabs open the mouth and sort of has uh, to open for you. Appreciate the help. We're going to talk about this when we're done here. Um, <laughs> is there 26 on the first attempt okay 26 you feel very good about that uh removing that particular gland you got one more to go all right other one big guy let's go uh exactly the same i got a 26 on that as well i rolled two 13s nice Right, okay. and then uh, help me with the tentacles next. And a Grizz goes to like fully butchering these eldritch horrors. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Matthew or Clover Stitch who's not okay with any of this? Both. Uh, if this man oh. tries to feed me Otiag, I will riot. <laughs> you, you specifically. Both Matthew and Flip. Clever Stitch. <laughs> All right, lift up here so I can get to the liver. <laughs> yep. Uh, just hold it just like that. Don't move. See, Don't I move. thought that the tentacle turducken thing from last week was a joke, but now it 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 has the potential I, to be genuine. You know, this thing eats sewage, and you're well, wanting see. to harvest its liver. The you thing have... that cleans out what it intakes. <laughs> I, I, I just I, I think just takes a giant step back. Like it's because I don't I want the liver. To, it's because I don't want the liver to come with me. Bad I'm way. not eating it. <laughs> and nudges the liver over towards uh, Benedict as he just goes and harvests no. a couple ten just harvests a couple tentacles from these things. Yeah. That's fine. Benedict knows better than to eat that. Nah, man. He's not a dog. He's not a cat. Wait. And then I think after a few minutes, Grizz is now draped with two or three of these giant tentacles. Like, okay. Right. Let's go. Cool. Sure. Um, 
All right. You guys make your way back up out of the city. The tentacles smell god-awful as the rot begins to rapidly set in. Uh, Because the faster things rot is uh, the more microbes and, and, uh, and, yeah, all of that nonsense. So, yeah, it's beginning to... Oh, never mind. I'm not dealing with it. Just immediately starts falling apart. Once they start like rotting and falling off, Grizz is like, "Oh shit! Useless wasted time. Get rid of it. Get rid of it." <laughs> All right. So, you guys have gathered your ingredients. Um, to you're going to poison a, a bottle of wine for mm-hmm. with the with the bile ducts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Who is doing that? These are all survival checks. I will do very badly at them, so I should. Not. So this is actually going to be a poisoning, or uh, take poisoning, or I guess alchemy. Maybe it's a poisoner's kit, technically. I have neither of those. I don't know why I'm looking at my sheet. No, I, <laughs> I don't have any of those. <laughs> Somebody can take a stab at it. You're trying to make it. I'll so do it. it. I have just, luck. Let's go. I just I have... makes him sick and doesn't kill him. Shride. I have fucking luck. She already Shride did that. Should be able to, right? She already did the faking thing. It was once per day. I mean, we're we're poisoning him tomorrow, right? But don't we have to do this now for pulling the stuff? Um, no, you can. I mean, it, it'll. It should. It should hold. In the bag of holding for a day. Uh, yes, please let let let's let Sarai do it. Okay. Oh, actually. Yeah, you should not, have one for short two. rest. No, oh, I, oh, is I can it do long it. Rest? I can do it twice per short rest because it's not divine intervention. Ooh. No, it's okay. uh, channel divinity. So then, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I, give me yeah. Um, do I need a poisoner's kit or can I do it with the alchemist? Uh, you, you can do it at disadvantage with the alchemist. If you get the poisoner's kit, you can do it flat. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go through Talroth's things. Okay. Um, cause I'm pretty sure he's got something. I don't know if Talroth does, but no, make an investigation check. Buy it. Yeah, I, there's something really shady about in the middle of the night. Going to a place where like, hi, can I get an alchemist kit? 20 minutes later, covered in sewage. Hi, can I get a poisoner's kit? Yeah, that's okay, actually Anne? fair. It's the one guy. <laughs> you you like... say that like he would care. Uh, I No, but just because yeah, he wouldn't okay. care doesn't mean he wouldn't sell us out immediately if someone came asking questions. Can... <laughs> make, the, uh, make the investigation check, please. These are rolling like shit. 14. Um, so you, you go digging through the, oh, you guys don't have a wagon anymore, through the collected things of, of, of your group. Um, man, that's right. You guys lost anything that wasn't in your bags of holding. Yeah. Um, (laughs) you, you find a, um, dust outline of where Screebers would keep his poisoner's kit, but he's been in the hospital, so. I can, I can, uh, Grizz or I can go to that same dude that you guys bought the alchemist kit from. Please, thank you. Oh, yes, yes, please, thank you. All right. You you do, Clever Stitch and, and yeah. Grizz, uh, you, you make your way there. You purchase the kit. If okay. any of those previously mentioned things is of interest to you, let me know. But I don't think we need to belabor the point. Um, so, Saride, uh, you have your Poisoner's Kit at the ready. You channel the divinity of your deity, the knowledge that she bestows upon you. And you... Uh, beautiful mind your way into some some poisoning adventure here um make me a proficiency plus uh wisdom or intelligence um poisoning check that's plus four 14 14 okay you have a second bile duct you can attempt again 
So now it's plus seven. Plus seven. Fourteen. Rolled a seven on both of them, huh? What the balls? <sighs> okay. That's good. I didn't need to be useful ever. You were so useful. All right. Most useful. So useful. So, you you feel uh, for your first attempt at working with poisons? Yeah, not not the worst. Um, but not what we need. Could have poisoned yourself. You didn't. Be fair. You, you definitely that haven't. That would have been nicer. <laughs> you definitely haven't poisoned yourself, so that's that's good. The poison will function. Um, you do feel confident about that. Um, as to you don't suspect it's too strong. Um, yeah, I mean you're in the ballpark. Yeah. So. And this is just a backup anyway. All I'm right. Thinking- yeah, I'm I'm looking way too close and sort of like very interested in what you do. Will it work? Not entirely sure. I've never poisoned anyone before. I never really paid attention when my dad was teaching me. Huh. So I don't know. I think I mean it'll do something. I don't he's just so big and I'm worried about it being too diluted but it'll do something to him. And if it's the, you know, two punch on a contagion spell. That's fair. It'll definitely put him down for a bit. Also, layers feel like a good thing in this case, in case someone's just trying to, well, let me heal you. If we make it more complicated, it'll be harder to manage. Spaghetti and walls. Spaghetti and walls. She gets that. She's like, yep. Understood. It's a metaphor, and I get it now. Perfect. Nosebleed. <laughs> she has uh, no intelligence or wisdom. She's not great in those areas. She's just real charming. Um, it's I mean, fifteen and thirteen, but like still, charisma caster. Okay. Yeah. So, so the next day arrives. Spaghetti and walls. So, uh, who would like to tell me the group? activity that you guys how you plant the bottles on and uh, touch cast contagion on obs my thoughts he did he so you know in the bar whenever he had to get past someone and he would just sort of go through them Yep. Was he, did he do the same thing on his way home? Yep. Perfect. Because we could Grizz, we could invisible Grizz. Um, and Ingrizzable. Can, yep. Or, or Clever Stitch, doesn't really matter. And we can, we can slide a pan to the bottle into his bag. But then later, we can just have Saride in the middle of the street. <laughs> and he will try to go through her. And as he does, she can touch him. This is just turning into an Assassin's Creed mission. Like yeah. you have to, ca- like in in like you have literally. To in, if that's all this is, and I'm ready for it. Yeah, because okay. I would say unless or do can either of you cast greater invisibility? I, I can talk. I can talk to, to plants. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Because if. Because if you can cast greater invisibility, it won't matter. It won't matter that the spell you're casting is hostile. You'll stay mm. invisible. I can make things gone, but they don't stay gone. If that's what you mean. I don't think I do. I'm looking. I also I made these, it. and Grizz pulls out just like a tray from under the table, and it's like the really fine puff pastries rolled out baklava that morning. Like, so if anybody wants breakfast, they are. These are the the chef's treats again. Everybody that eats them gets the uh, 
four points. Four, ex- four temporary hit points. I get temporary hit points from eating good food. I'm on board. Yeah. Yes. There's four temporary hit points to Clever Stitch, uh, Saride. <laughs> Clever, Clever Stitch says no. I want uh-huh. This is, I this is very <laughs> clearly just sweet little puff pastry. There's no tentacles or anything. I'm, I'm oh, shit. Fable doesn't care. Fable it. has like, but that's the thing is, raised in a fucking circus. She's not phased by the weird food, guys. She'll eat whatever you put in fucking front of her. Done. Are these calamari? Let's go. I don't care. Um, What are they? They're, they're baklava. Oh, great. I see. Orcish delicacy. Sweet. Yep, it's sweet. Okay, There's a baklava, nutty sort of jelly you said in there. They were orcish, yeah. and so I'm assuming that we've kind of established that <laughs> we've kind of established. I think orcs is kind of like Eastern European. Hell yeah! <laughs> Amazing. Hell yeah! Right. yeah. Cool. So uh, as, long, as long as it's not Turkish delight, because that looks like a monstrosity. Turkish delights Turkish good. Delight's not bad. Uh, Are you kidding me? It depends on which kind you get. It no. depends on which time you get. I was about I'm to say we, we've side. We, 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 it's we, not we, worth selling out my entire family for, okay? Rose, like, he made it Rose look Turkish in Narnia. Rose Turkish really good. No. Mm. <laughs> we're railroading the rest of the episode. Fuck, fuck this. No, we're, we're talking about <laughs> it. Turkish delight. I'm putting my foot down. We're having a discussion. <laughs> um, okay. I take one. Great. Yeah. <clears throat> so, somebody paint me a picture. <laughs> Tell me in imperfect terms how this would happen matthew (laughs) no fuck oh god oh shit usually i would be the one who jumped all in this but i just got back and i don't want this to be the thing i fuck up uh i'm double checking how my shit works hold on right hold please the the guy from ant-man that is like that my cousin told me this guy (laughs) give us that that recap Right, Perfect. so. <laughs> <laughs> but as Norman, if tell us what you think happened. The, so the other option is I just decide, and then you guys have to roll. Sometimes okay. that's safer because then it is not our fault. It's the dice's fault. Um, to be um, quite frank. Well, oh, yes, let's go. So Ride, after, when he's on his way home, okay. on his way to the bakery, Okay. Um, she's going to follow after him and link arms and look okay. up at him and hi um, I'm sorry are you do you live around here make a Persuasion check. Are you fucking? Why do I even try playing anymore? Nine. Okay. Um, make a strength saving throw. Five. Okay. Um, as you as you as you go to link arms with him, you you get up close to him. You you throw an arm around him, and you you start to speak. And he um, his arms are just swinging as he's walking, because uh, if he doesn't swing his arms, then he thinks he's standing still and he'll fall over. Oh my god! Um, and so you you start to say something to him. He does hear you, um, and he he turns to see who's talking to him when he does his arm that you've linked just sort of throws you onto the ground and he just kind of looks looks past <clears throat> what was that right oh my God. yeah i'm Sweet. down here can you please help me up now what was that oh why are you down there because you threw me, you big lummox. <sighs> we don't have to be nice. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Please, can I have uppies? <laughs> <laughs> make make another persuasion check. Please, can I have uppies? Thank you. 
You dirty twenty. <laughs> yeah. All right. And he reaches down and he just sort of palms your for like your upper, like your shoulder. Yeah. Just. <laughs> When I called him a lummox, I need him to make a charisma save. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, 12. Fails. So he's Bane. Okay. <laughs> so it's and harder once, this time. <laughs> once he picks me up, I'll, I'll like brush his hand off, but make sure I'm touching him. Sure. And cast Contagion. Yes. Okay. There is a verbal component to Contagion. What is that? What do you say? Is there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Um, and this is where the distraction comes into play that we had yes. planned out. And where... uh, this is when Fable and Grizz and um, the circus and uh, <laughs> the giant badger start making noises across the street. Um, okay. As Fable what? is trying... Seriously? Yes. <laughs> um, as so that you can say your word without him noticing that you're casting a spell on him. Well, it doesn't have to be in uh, common. Right? Yeah. We don't know I mean, it's speaks. just... Make a performance check. I was trying to, just in case you need him to look away. I didn't, but okay. No, me. This is... Right? Yeah. I think Navi's just sort of sitting almost beggar-like um, by the like by the side of the road, kind of just watching currently. A dirty 20 on performance, by the way. It is it is very hard to catch his attention because usually he doesn't care about anything, yeah. but he actually does sort of turn his head. Great. It's just that we dropped things like I was trying to load stuff onto and, and things sure. fell and it was the, the symbols crashing. What like like we were just trying to pack as up much the, noise as we could make. Yeah, but like while being innocuous and not like we were not the actual da 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 da. da hey, no, like. We're trying to load up his cast iron skillets onto Benedict and drop them and fuck. That's all. So Ride, uh, make your attack roll with advantage. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen is what you need. Thank God. Cool. He's sick. Okay. Uh, as you guys watch she him, brushes his hand off. the The word, by the way, is specifically in this cadence. It's uh, oh god, I can't think of his name. It's John Adams. Disgusting, <laughs> Mr. Feeney. <laughs> it's Mr. Okay. Feeney. Yeah, sounds good. Um, so at disadvantage, you have utilized the people goo. Have. Okay. Uh, is this the opportunity that I'm assuming it's Clever Stitch is, is attempting to do the sleight of hand? Yeah, since Grizz is being uh, circused. Yeah. Am I invisible? So I think I think as you sort of like walk past, I'll sort of like put my hand up and uh, like brush, brush you ever so slightly with a very fishy hand and cast oh. invisibility on you. Amazing. Perfect. So uh, yeah, you, you have advantage. Uh, for right. for fishy hand and for distraction. Ooh, that is two natural nineteens for a nice. twenty-four. I... Gross. Dang. Okay. You you place the bottles into the uh, into his his holding belt. Um. And at the moment, he is poisoned. So, he is going to make his constitution saving throws at disadvantage. What is the DC of your contagion, Saride? I believe everything is a... Oh, fuck me. It's a 15. Okay. 15. So, he has a plus 9. Oh, he is banned as yeah, well. Yeah, so it should be. He is right. at disadvantage. Still disadvantage. Yep. Oh, okay. It's still a plus nine. Yeah. Um, okay. So for contagion, it is uh, if the target succeeds three. Um, so if 
It's if he fails three before he succeeds three. That's what we're looking at. Okay. First roll. On the dice, both of them are sevens. So that is one success there. On the second one, that is an 18 and a 3. So that is one failure. A, oh, double natural 1. Oh, no, 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 11 and natural 1. So all 1s. <laughs> there was just an extra 1 in there. Uh, so two failures. Oh, crap. All right. Die down. Die, Die down. down. All right, here we go. Uh, an 11 and a 13. So that one is a success. Our game log Down is now up one. on the overlay, by the way. Ooh. I know. Ooh. Here we go. Let's, let's, let's make them green. Greenies for sicknesses. Here we go. A natural two and a natural three. Ah! Finger guns. Holy shit. Get Rick. That, that was, that was, you could have just taken us a picture, but that's, that's Bam. dedication there. Bam. All right. I had the opportunity. I thought I wanted no, I like to see it. how it worked. I was, that was dynamic. That was delightful. So, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, which disease of the many contagions he, did you pick? He is going to get filth fever. Raging fever sweeps through his body. The creature has disadvantage on strength checks, strength saving throws, and attacks that use strength. All right. That's the one thing he do. Yep. Yeah. 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 He, he so start... Obviously, I'm going to give him disadvantage on charisma. Take the um... muscle away from the muscle. I love it. Obviously, he gets mind fire. For yeah. Disadvantage yeah. on just, intelligence. A little checks. slower. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so he, he starts to feel not great he starts to get feel feverish right he he's again he's very focused he's not he's not the quickest on the uptake but uh you guys track him and watch him a little bit he he does he begins his his usual uh tour the tour de meal uh as it were and yeah and there there comes a point in which he would normally he's like getting ready to cross the street and there's somebody has stopped because there's there's cart traffic right there's horses going back and forth he would and you've seen him do this he would just sort of walk through things um but as he's going like he he hits the person and stumbles and like falls forward sort of Runs oh, right. Run. <sighs> and he, he's like you're you're really and he turns back to look at who it is and it's it's this mom with like her kid and he knocked her over um but it's like she's not particularly stout you know what i mean and he's like he looks at her he's very confused um but it is it does confirm for you that the contagion has taken hold it will last for seven days um you guys don't know if or when he'll he'll drink the potentially poisoned wine and and what that will do to him, uh, <laughs> but uh, step one, obs off the table. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so nicely done. Next week we're gonna try to get through the other two. Um, so I'm sure we'll be that, able to do it far quicker. Hey. <laughs> I, well, I mean, no, it's it's all good. I enjoyed this. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm on board. I'd rather take our time and get it right. One of them will be able to stab a bunch. That can only take so long. <laughs> like all. I mean, you you've seen how quickly Clever Stitch shoots things. Yeah, no. So it's it's yeah. really not. Just stand back, open a window. Very for fast. Uh, very very fast. He he did he did all of his tricks and then he was just going to be regularly shooting things <laughs> immediately <laughs> after for the rest of the combat should Honestly, it have continued. Luckily. Fighters, man. Gotta love them. Uh, yeah. I love it. Seriously. Seriously. Right, what yeah. the fuck? Take that swing. It it it, it goes big. Yeah. Um yeah. so 
good game, everyone. I know it's a little bit of a shorter game, but I think this is a good place for us to end it for tonight. Mm -hmm. Unless you guys had any other pressing business uh, for us to sneak in here right at the end of the time. All right. Well, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with us. We're going to be making some more announcements about new shows that are coming up. Um, but I think we're going to try to get some video game streams in over the next two days. Yeah, yeah. And then Thursday night, we are back with Blood and the Bayou. And uh, we'll see if we revisit Ultensia this weekend. Uh, and I am also working on uh some uh 5e anime home rules so we'll 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 see what we can do with those sorts of things mm -hmm. so thanks for hanging out we will see you guys next time but until then be cool bye everybody